walls broke around them. All they could do was to hang on. Went upstairs and I, my first memory upstairs was seeing Daddy and I can't remember who it was trying to hold up the um, front door with the water was just cascading against it. It was just being pushed flat on top of it. And I remember the waves breaking there. Uh, prior to that, I understand that the windows had been going and, and uh, the water was at that level. Then we went up to the second floor where uh, we gathered in a, a room that was situated at the back of the house, which was my father's. I do remember a side view looking out this way, which was where the house where the nesters lived, right next to us, it was a very sturdy uh, shingled house. And I remember very distinctly seeing the crook who had always made me blueberry puppets outside on the porch, and she got hysterical, and I do remember a wave coming towards the porch, and she jumped. She jumped into that wave, and her life was lost. I also remember standing at that window and seeing that house go, seeing the wave break over the house and the whole house go. No one could stand in the wind, scuttling on all fours or lying flat on the ground, those who looked out seaward saw a terrifying sight. The storm surge had arrived. A huge pulse in the height of the ocean it was topped with real breaking waves, 10, 15, and 20 feet high. The wind had sliced off the crests of the waves and they became black rollers, running on a sea that was itself 10 feet higher than it had been for 120 years. The surge and the huge breakers washed over the coast with frightening swiftness. Buildings came apart like flimsy cardboard boxes, and the water rushing inland was a soup of timbers, spars, bits of wall, mattresses, rooftops, sheds, and thousands of playing cards. When we reached the third floor, basically the um, house began to wash away under us. In fact, it was. It went out from under us, and there we were on the third floor with a little bit of the roof, which eventually went off on it, broke off and went off on itself. There was a pipe that was coming up. I don't know why it was there, I think, to hold the roof. My father uh, hooked his leg around that pipe and held on, everybody held on to each other. I, being the littlest, was next to my father and under his coat, and I can remember very vividly the count of one, two, three, duck, and a wave would break over us. One, two, three, duck, and a wave would break over us. It seemed to me that it went on forever, but I guess it really didn't. Um, we floated across, well, but my parents didn't know where we were going. They really thought we were headed for Block Island. And I can remember the excitement when they spotted Denison's Rock, which is a buoy right out here. At that time, I didn't know what it meant. Now I know that it meant that we were in the bay and we were headed for shore. We weren't being pushed out into the ocean.